Hi, my name is Kevin Jackson, and I work with the Intermapper product line at Help Systems. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a notifier and assign that notifier to a device or an interface. Let's take a look. First thing we want to do is with our devices on the map, we want to configure the notifier. Under the Edit menu, we'll go to Service Settings. This opens up the Global Service Settings. And depending on which type of notifier you want to use, we have to configure that notifier appropriately. So the first option could be using email as the way to notify when a device is in question. Under the email tab, you want to enter your primary SMTP server. If you have an in-house email environment or a hosted email environment, you want to ensure that you enter the full email address along with the port associated with sending email uh, throughout your organization. So it could look like this. Very important that we also enter a from address. Now this address has to be a legitimate email address where the emails will be sent from. Once we've entered the information for email, now we can go ahead and create our notifier. So we scroll down to the notifier list, and now we can select which notifier we want to use. Intermapper has a number of different built-in notifiers that you can utilize, email being one of them. SMS, text messages can be also a notifier that can be used. In order to use the SMS notifier, you have to have a GSM modem attached directly to the Intermapper server with service uh, that's applicable. We also have pager notifications uh, using dial-up or network services. We can alert by sound, so we can do default sounds, traps, syslog messages. We also can do Windows pop-ups on your screen, command line notifiers, PowerShell notification uh, to use uh, uh, script execution. Uh, we also have an interface with our automate product, which allows us to do some uh, network automation and, or some uh, network mediation. And then we also have a group notifier that's able to assign a notifier to a group of folks. So for this particular example, we'll do an email notifier. So we'll select the email option, and then we can give it a name. Very important that you enter the recipient in the recipient list. So whoever the emails will be going to, you want to enter that information, whether it's a single uh, recipient or a group. Now what we can do from here is we can edit the message. Now this is the automated message that will that'll be sent when the notifications appear. We call these smart tags, and the smart tags will be able to pull the information from the device itself. We have a number of different smart tags that you can also add to your, uh, your message, as well as using freeform text. Once you've assigned the information to your message, now the next option is to set your schedule. The schedule allows you to set uh, a notifications and, and tell when Intermapper can send these notifications when the active hours or inactive hours are. Once this information is complete, you can hit the test notification information, and if there's an issue with the configuration, Intermapper will give you a notification and tell you. If the information is correct, it'll say uh, configuration successful. So once we have our notifiers completed, now we want to attach those notifiers to our device. So if we right click on our device, there's a few different ways that you can attach notifiers to your device. You can do it from the global device list. Here you can see all the device notifiers, and then you can select the conditions. You can select multiple notifiers for a specific device. You also have the option to select your interfaces. So these are all the interfaces on the device, and you can also select multiple notifications on those interfaces with different conditions as well. You can do it from the map level, where if you right-click on the device, 
you can go to the device notifier, it brings up the notifier screen, and you can select your conditions and your notifiers. The delay, repeat, and count, what this means is you can delay the notifications from being sent for a specific amount of time if you know that the, your device has this type of behavior. So if I want to delay it for a minute, what we'll do is we'll suppress the notifications for a minute, and then we can repeat that every five seconds. And then from the count, we can do that from a count of seven. So this means that the notifier will be delayed for a minute, and then we'll repeat that every five seconds for a seven count. You can also set up notifications on your interfaces as well. Right click on the interface link, go to interface, and then notifiers window. You can set up the same notifiers you configured for your devices. You can set up those notifiers for your interfaces as well, based on the conditions that you want to, uh, to have notified on. So here are the number of different options that you can utilize to set up your notifiers. As I mentioned before, you have a long list of information and notifiers you can utilize. And then once you've created your notifications, you can assign those notifications on your devices and your inter interfaces respectively. If you have any additional questions, please consult the user guide for additional information.